Hi everybody. Just making sure you guys can see the whole canvas in there. Molly from Molly's Artistry. I have been on a roll today with paintings. Some of them have been fails. I'm just trying to get ready for my show. These are the last few ones that I can do. Um, I plan on doing a reverse ring pour with my split cup here. And I was thinking, as I was like getting everything ready, I was thinking maybe I would do dark all the way down on one side and then like from light to dark and then from dark to light. So I don't want these colors to blend. So I'm gonna go ahead. So this is a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas, gallery wrapped. I'm using Payne's Gray, Artist Loft White, um, Thalo Blue, Cerulean Blue, and uh, Sky Blue. My paints are a little bit thinner than they usually are. They're kind of just free flowing off here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So somebody had asked me what this is. It's literally just the top of the canvas. Um, it's like a thin cardboard-ish material, but I got smart and just made some patterns of it so that I wouldn't have to cut a new one and reinvent the wheel every time. Let me make sure my paint layering is in the cup for you. So I'm gonna start on this side. I'll see if I can pour it this way. So it's bleeding through just a little bit, so my white might get a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well. Okay. So, light to dark. So I'm gonna go with the light blue here. Pouring down the side of my cup, trying to. Okay. And then cerulean blue next. And for the rest of the night, I think I'm gonna be working in uh, blues. Okay. On this side, so that my sides don't get too uneven, I'm gonna go with my phthalo blue next on this side. So for the reverse pour, I'm gonna do a little bit more blue. For the reverse pour, so I'm gonna start on the outside, go to the inside, and then maybe see if I can get like a little design on the inside. Okay, so I've got my cerulean blue was on this side next. I kinda of want a little bit more of that. There we go. And actually, I just did it. You can pour down the center of this thing to get that side. Um, and then my, then my, Thalo blue. Over here. Let me see, this was my dark side to start, so now I'm gonna go with the cerulean blue on this side. And I want a little bit more Thalo blue over there. And then I'm gonna end this side with my sky blue and then the white. This side I'm gonna end with my Payne's gray. Okay, so now I'm gonna, and a viewer had a good idea like leave it in um, but I like to see what happens when the colors meet. Now I'm gonna try to sling this off to the side because I didn't want it to do, didn't want it to mix them too much. So this is what my cup looks like. It's got two different sides to it, two different colors, and then the colors are all layered in reverse. So I'm gonna try to pour it so that it'll come split out of the sides here and we'll just kinda see what happens. So wish me luck, guys. I may need a second cup. If I do, that's totally okay. And I am gonna need a second cup, so I'm all right with that. Wow, you guys, that ribbon that's in there, I always see if you guys can see it, but it's really hard to normally. Um, can you guys see that ribbon in there? No, it's really dark. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so 
What I'm gonna do now, so that was about 500 mils of paint for a 20 by 20 canvas. So what I'm gonna do now is layer them just like a regular flip cup and then do my regular, keep going in reverse, but do the center. So I'm gonna, where's my white? Put some white in the bottom of the cup. And then I'm gonna go with my lighter color next. Oh, sky blue is my lighter color. So I've got some white in the cup. Now I'm gonna go with this color. Then I'm gonna go with the cerulean. Whoops. Then I'm gonna go with the phthalo. Then I'm gonna go with the Payne's Gray. And because I'm starting in the center here, I think I'm gonna go back with some cerulean. And back with some phthalo whatever I've got left right here. Okay, all right, so here I go. I wanna to get to the center before the white comes out. There she comes. Do a little bit of a round, making kind of the shape of a Rose. Didn't really have enough in there. Trying to save this one, guys. No drip. <laughs> okay. I kind of like these little frilly edges. We'll see how it comes out once I stretch this around a little bit more. Um, I'm just gonna help this along. I want some more paint on these sides. Let me see what I've got left over here. I've got some Payne's Gray, I know. So I will put some Payne's Gray up and over there. Over here. Um, got a little bit of Cerulean Blue over here. I'd already gotten my corners, so that's okay. Okay, you guys, wish me luck. Here I go. Gonna circle up there first. I hope that my paints aren't too thick. That's been my pro, Ooh. Immediately, I saw this. Gotta get that stuff out of there. I don't even know what that is. That looks like some paint chunks. Oh man, I hope that doesn't ruin that. Let's see if I can continue that line on along. See what's gonna happen up here. I don't want that to go off my screen, I'm off my screen, off my canvas yet. The colors look like they're layering pretty nicely. Hope you guys can still see, sorry, I'm having to tilt this. So I'm trying not to lose the shape in the center. And the paint is definitely falling off the canvas. Gosh, you guys, I just love blue. I really do. Oh, and all my white ended up coming off the canvas as well. Let me see if I can spread this out anymore. But I got basically the effect that I was looking for in the center. So that's good to know. Okay. So the split cup definitely gets you some different intermingled colors in here, which I really like. Um, I love these lines that happened over here and around the sides. I'm glad that I got 
at that earlier. Let me just fixing up that side right there. Ah! Oh no. I kind of want. I don't want to mess it up, but I want those colors to come off the side a little bit more. I'm trying to get this. Oh, okay. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. I slung this. Always fix it when the paint is wet, though. So I just followed that line right back around. So that is okay. Um, I'm trying to get this part right there to kind of branch out just a little bit, but it's hard to get just that area. Okay. Cool. Looks like you're heading into the vortex. this down down here you guys this is so cool I'm loving this all right I gotta wipe my hands off my hands are like so dirty filled with blue oh my gosh you guys this one's so pretty I know, I know, you're probably like, shut up and just show me. Just give me a second. I don't want to get, I don't want to get it all over my camera, you know. Okay, here we go. Past couple times today when getting my camera down, I have literally flung my phone out everywhere. So... The split cup gave me these lines right here that I think are really cool. And the reverse gave me that as well. So being a, a split cup and a reverse. There's kind of a little bit of lacing going on there. If I torched that, I bet something would come up, but I don't want to. I kind of like that hazy look. And then there's the center that I was trying to kind of get it to do another kind of 3D-ish but it really looks like you're going into like a, a vortex of some kind. So cool. Wow. Let me see if I can get you up any closer on. Psychedelic. I'm loving it. Hope you guys like it. There she is. If you like, hit subscribe, hit the bell if you want. If you want to see more videos, please comment. Let me know what you think. Um, hope this inspires you to do something like this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye.